Capture the flag. Capture enemy flags to score. Okay, so we're gonna let this keep playing here, Fernando, but uh, for folks that maybe missed the intro, this is Sketch, joined by a multiplayer designer, senior multiplayer designer, Fernando, here in the studio, giving you a first look at CTF on Fragmentation, one of our yeah, new maps that will be in this preview. Fernando, I'm gonna turn it over to you a little bit. Um, we saw a chaotic opening there, by the way, those two Warthogs <laughs> just head-to-head -head right out of the gate, but feel free to kind of point out some stuff and, uh, you know, just, just share a little bit with us some um, additional context about what we're seeing. Yeah, I think, first of all, like, I would like to talk a little bit about the map, right? Like, Fragmentation, I, I, this is one of my favorite maps in, in BTV for Infinite. Like, it has that, like, For Honor steady, feels like, almost like a campaign level, right? And, uh, and it gives me that Valhalla vibes, too, you know? So it's like, I, uh, as, a, as a big Halo, Halo fan, it's, it's just exciting to play on it. Um, yeah, like so. Big, big shout out to uh, Cliff Scholl, that is the level designer of this uh, of this map. He he did an amazing job with it. Um, yeah, oh yeah, that was a skewer right there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, I think that we're we're playing CTF right now. Um, we have done some tuning, especially for uh, for BTV in terms of. Uh, how CTF plays, right, compared to Arena. Uh, I will not give a lot of uh, details on that. I, I hope that people, like, get to play it and and, and see it in person. Um, but, yeah, we, we try to make it uh, uh, just to uh, embrace, really, like, collaboration and teamwork. Uh, so so everyone, everyone feels good while playing. Like, one of my mantras while working in BTV has been, like, everyone should feel like a hero in every match, right? Like, you should have, like, a cool moment that you feel like, oh, man, I'm, I'm amazing, right? I'm, I'm great at, at this game. And, and hopefully, like, CTF does that for, uh, for people. Um, oh, this, is, this is a cool thing, I think, to, to, to mention about the map. We have this thing that we internally call the loot cave. Right, where you can bring your uh, bring your AI and hack the the entrance to the loot cave, and uh, yeah, you just have to like be careful there and like escort it while uh, your little guy does its thing. Um, it's just a sub objective, right? Yeah, like it's just a sub objective. Doesn't team, have whoever gets here first gets the loot essentially. Yeah, right? exactly. Right, it's just like an interesting way of bringing more power into the match and getting cool toys to play, right? Like I just like picked up the, uh, the gravity hammer there and, and uh, the overshield. So let's, let's, let's see, like find, find some people there uh, to use my new toys with, right? You got all the toys right now. Yeah. Oh, that guy uh, escaped. Yeah, he got lucky there. Hey, speaking of which too, I think uh, by default, you guys talked about scaling the experience a little bit. 
I believe equipment has like something like the grapple has more charges in a big team battle than it would in arena. By yeah, default, right. Yeah, for sure. Like we figured that given the extra space, right, like the extra square footage of the maps, it would be nice to be able to play with the toys a little bit more than just like the the amount of charges that you would have in arena. And it, it plays really well, right? Like especially like if you have the grapple shot, you can just like swing around and have fun with it for, for a bit. Uh, and, and that's that's pretty pretty incredible. Oh, you're really gonna take this thing all the way back on foot? Yeah, though? yeah. Okay, you got a little pick up here. Oh. Yeah. I always like to like um, drive the flag and just like don't have to walk all the way to the base and getting a driver, which I don't know, like I think this is a good also moment to talk about how vehicles play in, into, into BTV, right? Like, I think they are, they are there to, uh, to be used, but I would say that they are very incorporated into how the mode plays. Uh, you'll see that the Razorback can interact with the flag, for example, and they're just like a core, a core part of, of BTV. So very, very big shout, shout out to, to Brian Berryhill, our vehicle designer. Uh, that he, he did an incredible job to make the Warhawk and the Mongoose feel the way it's, it's supposed to feel. It, it hurts me to see you lose that hammer after all the trouble you went to right? hack, the, hack the cave. I'm not, I'm not sure you got a kill with it. No, I got, I got, a, oh, I got yeah, okay. a good one, okay. yeah. Oh, so nice to be back in the man cannons. Uh, this is the commando rifle. It's pretty pretty cool weapon mid range, right? Like I always put it in between the assault rifle and the battle rifle in terms of like the role it plays when you're when you're like in a in a combat scenario. So so I believe some vehicles will kind of spawn at each base by default, right? But then in addition we have this dynamic element where a pelican's gonna fly in periodically and drop off vehicles as well. Yeah, that's a completely new system that we added for uh, for BTB and Infinite. Uh, we have like pelican drops. Uh, bringing vehicles at like key moments of the match, right? To like, uh, there's like some very smart things <laughs> running on the back to make sure that uh, we don't affect the balance of of the of the match. Uh, again, big shout out to Patrick Wren and that he's an, an awesome designer that make it happen. Both both that and the loot cave too, right? So uh, he has been. He has been creating cool, cool stuff to make BTB really shine and and make it make it bigger and, and better than what it was. Now we also have this dynamic element of these ordnance drops as well. I don't know if we've seen one yet in this film, right? But periodically, just cool weapons are going to rain down from the sky, right? Yeah, yeah. So you you can be just like wandering around in the map and out of nowhere, like. Uh, uh, an ordinance drop falls right in front of you, which is one of my favorite animations in the game, right? Like, you just, like, walk to it, and it explodes, and it shows you, like, your new toy. Uh, and it's, 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 it's a good encouragement for people to just be scavenging around and walking in the space, right? Uh, I think that BTV really shines is that you have, like, different pockets of interaction, right? Like, maybe, like, this corner we are, like, playing with the objective, and like trying to defend the flag, right? But maybe in, that, in a different corner, somebody's having like a super intense combat or like somebody else is like trying to uh, stealthy uh, uh, hack the, the loot cave, for example, right? So there's a lot of moments and there's a lot of things going on in a, in a BTV match. So it's, it's super exciting no matter where you are. Hey, was that loot cave does that respawn at any point during the match, or is that kind of a one and done? No, it, it respawns. You have to let it reboot. Uh, it reboots for a bit, and then you can you can go at it again. Okay, cool. Man. You really are the flag runner, huh? You like I that. love I love running the flag, man. Like it's just it's such a cool moment when you like you know you cap it and it explodes and you know like you are contributing meaningfully to like the outcome of the match. It's, it's just so cool, you know. And like I don't know, ideally like like it's a it's a team team based game, right? So even if you don't bring it, like you just bring it to the fifty yard line and then it's like it's up to somebody else, you know, and and keep like moving it like little ants in the match.
that's that's the threat sensor right there, like just putting to... putting in one there just in case somebody wants to get close to the loot cave, right? Can turn back. I usually like to use it like that, right? Like behind a wall, and maybe like I can see somebody like crouching behind or something before I commit to a, a route. Really close match. You know, something else I was gonna we could mention real quick too. I know we're watching CTF, but um, in the preview we're gonna have uh, BTB Slayer, BTB CTF, and also uh, a new game mode called Total Control. Yeah, um, yeah, for yeah. sure. Oh, oh here, pelican here's the Pelican drop. Yeah. Look at that, so cool. Gets me every time. Uh, yeah, so in terms of modes, we, we really try to have like a variety of experiences in the in the BTB uh, part of multiplayer, uh, like from like very classic BTB uh, uh, Slayer experience, right? It's like how you remember it, you know, just like kill the enemy team, right? To like an in-between and an uh, improvement on something like CTF, like I was mentioning, right? Uh, to like something completely new like Total Control. Uh, Total Control is a uh, area control mode where you have to capture three different zones at the same time to score. Uh, once you score, once once you score one point, uh, a new set of zones is selected uh, in different parts of the map to add some variety. And the first team that does that three times wins the match. Uh, it's it's super. It's become one of my favorites. It's 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 just so hectic because it just forces everyone into sort of those three. There's just a lot of intense combat because everyone's kind of switched together trying to get those zones. Big fan of total control. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh man, so close, huh? Oh, but it looks like uh, there it is. Is it win? You and your team prevailed. I'm sh I'm <laughs> sure that your uh, your multiplayer colleagues did not go easy on you for the sake yeah, of this no, live stream. Everybody, right? everybody sometimes like plays a little bit, a little bit good. <laughs> but that was uh, your first look at capture the flag on fragmentation. Like we said, that will be part of our multiplayer preview. 